packet tracer imagine i will take one router here we can say i have one router and i will take one switch here one router one switch and i will take some pc or one pc is also enough but anyhow let me connect like this and here i will put the ip any ip whatever ip we want to use we can put here so i'm going to put here like 192 168 something like that range like we are using before so here 192.168.1.1 for router interface i will put this one here and then i will put in the switch i will give 192.168.1.2 and we need to have the tftp server so i will take this server we will say this is a tftp server and here i am going to assign this ip 192.168.1.3 so let's do the configuration then we will check so first of all i am going to assign the ip address so here i will write no then enable config t host uh, name basic configuration i am doing just i am assigning the ip address f0 by 0 ip address 192.168.1.1255.255.255.0 and then i will write no shut here i will save the configuration <coughs> and here switch no need to do any configuration in the router just i assign the ip address here in the server i will go i will assign the ip address here also in the server i will give ip 192.168.1.3 and here 192.168.1.1 okay so this is the basic configuration just we assign the ip address after that if you see here imagine i need to take this configuration backup okay I need to take this backup in this server so here if you go to the server you can see here FTP you have and somewhere you will see the TFTP also this is the TFTP this is the old backup before what we have so I will remove this all so let me remove all everything so we will not have anything here so I can take the configuration backup now so nothing is present here so what i will do i will take the configuration backup if you want to take the configuration backup how we will take we will write here copy okay copy running configuration where i need to take backup in the tftp so i will press enter and they will ask me give me the tftp ip so this is a tftp server ip so i need to give this ip 192.168.1.3 so i will write 192.168.1.3 and press enter what the destination file name we want to give example i want to give abc so i will write abc so they are going to store the backup here with the file name abc now we can go here and check here you have this file abc so they taken the backup and they give the file name as abc imagine this router is broken you have the new router okay you have the new router you will take that new router and you will connect this cable here and basic configuration you will do here you will assign the ip then you are going to restore this backup in this router so whatever configuration before we have in this router that all configuration will come here so i will go here first i will assign the ip okay and remaining thing i will not do so automatically that will come we have host name configure okay so host name will change here <coughs> excuse me so if you see here this is the router name is r1 sorry router here you have the r1 but here if you see you have the router so now i'm going to restore this backup whatever backup we have here I am going to restore in this router so if you want to restore then what you will write you will write copy copy from where tftp copy tftp to running configuration 
and then they are asking give the server ip so this is the server ip from where we need to copy so you can give that server ip from this point from this ip we need to configure they will ask you okay what is the file name so i will give file name is abc and destination file name you can press enter and wait for some time they are going to restore if you see here you will get here the 611 byte is copied in 3.016 second or 202 bytes per second so they taken the backup they restore here and if you check here your host name is change here before what you have before you have whatever configuration you have in this router you will get all configuration here actually now i did not do lot of configuration here i only changed the host name that's why host name is change here okay i only changed the host name in the back uh, in this router and i taken the backup when i restore that one you have only host name is change but in real scenario you will have lot of configuration here and you will take the backup and when this router is broken you can take other router and you can restore that backup okay in the real scenario you will have the application tftp application ftp application you will download from the solar wind you have the application you have lot of application if you check tftp backup application or something you will get lot of application you will have lot of see solar wind so you can take this one some days they will give the trial after that you have the paid version company use the paid version so in that one you are going to get the all the feature so with that you can take the backup easily i have one here freely available 3c diamond we can use that one also 3c diamond this application for tftp ftp and syslog we can do with this application so this is a lab we done we taken the backup with the help of tftp and we restore the backup with the help of tftp okay so now what i will do we will do the same lab with evng so let me start the evng what we will do here same thing we are going to do but we will use like uh, 3c diamond app to take the backup and restore the backup <laughs> here in the packet tracer we have the ready made build server we are using that one but in the evng we are going to use the this 3c diamond this is freely available in the internet you can download this 3c diamond we are using this application for tftp server ftp server syslog server purpose you need to install this application in your laptop or desktop physical machine and after that you will log into the evng if you see here this is the evng we can log in and you can connect example this is the router you want to take the backup of this router so you need to connect to this cloud zero when you connect this to cloud zero this will connect to this machine this application in the evng that's why we need to connect the cloud zero here how you will take you will right click network okay you will refresh right click go to network network and then here you will select cloud zero okay already it is there so i did not do anything just you will open the console of the router and do some basic configuration in the router example if you see here what we have show ip interface brief i have one ip here let me do the configuration here i will do interface loopback zero okay ip address 8.8. sorry interface loopback 0 ip address 8.8.8 okay <coughs> 255.0.0.0 so i created this loopback and now i need to take the backup so what i will do if i want to take the backup simple step what we done same thing we need to do copy copy tftp running configuration then you need to give the tftp ip tftp server ip so 
you will go here tftp and you can see 45.1 this is the tftp ip so you will give here 192.168.45.1 and press enter and file name what you want to give you can give backup or any file name you can give and the destination you will press enter and wait for some time and if you see the permission deny so some issue we have let me check here what issue we are getting if you go here where we are saving this if you share in the desktop also you will have the issue so let me go to e drive in the e drive we can share this one okay or let me go to the e drive and check here e drive we have some backup here okay in this folder we are going to save so let me go and change the location in e drive we are going to save here so now let's see we will try again backup we will take we need to copy running tftp running tftp okay host name is what is the host name 192.168.45.1 and uh, destination file name what we want to give we can give uh, abc i think they have so i will give backup and wait for some time now if you see backup done okay they done the backup here if you want to go to that folder you can see you have this one this file you can open this in the notepad and you can check whatever the backup we taken we have here if you see this loop back it is there so in the real scenario you will take this one but nowadays we have the automation so automation will do everything but if the company is not following automation we can use this way so what i will do i will uh, take one more router imagine imagine that router is broken so i taken the new router this is a new router i taken and i will give the name you can give name anything here and here i will put the slot and this router i want to connect to nat cloud so i can take new nat cloud here that is cloud zero i can connect here like this i will restore the backup i want to restore the backup here so I will take the CLI of this router. Imagine R1 is having some issue, so I am taking the R2. So basic configuration we will do first. We need to assign the IP. So what I will do, I need to get the IP from the DSCP. So I will do that one. If you see here, I will write enable config T. Host name I will not change because I want to get the backup. So I will keep same whatever I have. Only I will assign the IP address. DSCP and then I write no shut so I can get the IP from the DSCP only that I will do after that I am going to restore the backup whatever backup we have XYZ or what name we give I think name we give as a backup okay so we will wait some time till we get the IP so we have the IP now if you see this IP we get from the DSCP so now if you want to restore you what you will do you will write copy okay copy from where we need to copy tftp what we need to copy run where we need to copy in the running configuration and here you need to put the server ip address which server means tftp ip address so i put that one source file name what is the file name backup i think we give backup okay destination i will press enter and if you see it restore here you can see it is restore and now you can see uh, this router name change before what you have router name is this and now you will have the loop back also before you don't have the loop back if you write show IP interface brief you can see this loop back IP also you have before you don't have so this way we are going to restore the backup what command I done means simple command I done if you want I will type here see here what I done first of all let me write down here what we are doing here this is the TFTP lab okay here taking or I can say backup lab backup 
lab by using tftp okay what we will do means in the r1 in the r1 router we are going to put this command so copy running config okay copy running config copy running config then we will write the like from where we need to copy tftp this command we will write so they are going to access the ip address or if you want let me copy so it will be easy for you to refer later from r1 so see here this one i wrote just now so they will ask you the ip address so you will give the ip so like this i can say here they will ask you ip and this is only the command and it is you will give the ip address then they will ask you the name of the file what name you want to keep so you will give the name this is a file name what you want to save so this is only for taking the backup now what configuration we done to restore the backup restore backup by using tftp okay and restoration is simple here if you see what we done here simple command we wrote we wrote this one okay we give here this copy from the tft to running configuration then we give the ip here after that automatically they take on everything this is the ip we give the server ip and we give the file name that's all after that it is finished so this is the configuration i hope it is clear right in case if you have any doubts you can ask me so in this class we learn how to take the backup configuration backup and how we can restore the configuration backup in evng by using the tftp same way you will do in the real scenario also so let 